Hello guys, so if you're wondering what it is like to work for US Air Force in reconnaissance, check out the father of my child, whom I met in Moscow, Russia. He told me he was an investment banker and that he was uh, looking for a Russian businessman and to do IPOs on Toronto Stock Exchange. And he told me that he wanted to start a business in Minsk, Belarus, and this is a different country, uh, where he wanted to buy potash, which is a fertilizer. Uh, then he said he wanted to keep it in the container somewhere. And then uh, he would uh, just uh, speculate on the price, wait for it to go up and then sell it. That's what he said. Apparently it was a cover. Or maybe potash is something they use as part of uh, clearing um, storage from nuclear weapons. And for example, if you... Uh, understand the volume of potash, you can estimate uh, the level of nuclear weapons, for example. Anyways, if you're thinking about working at the US Air Force and reconnaissance, you just might end up being poisoned by your own government or maybe MI6. MI6 likes to poison people like there was the case with Navalny here, which was sent by United States, who was, you know, in the yell, uh, where he had his training. And, you know, his uh, MI6 mistresses, mistress poisoned him, and he ended up nearly dead, but my man died because they made sure that he was dead and he got suckered into that Lyme cult when he googled his symptoms. He ended up at the New York Times page and at the article called My Plight with Lyme by Amy Tan, who never had any Lyme. She's a liar. They just run those schemes for organ harvesting and blood harvesting. So, anyways, I just wanted to say that you're going to wear some kind of a sheet leather jacket from China, as you can see on my man. He had this sheet leather jacket for, from China that said Gucci on it. And obviously he had this ex-wife from Canada, which the I assume was just sent to him because she never loved him, she never cared about him, and she was infertile. And there were uh, many women after him, but she of course lied about being infertile. Lots of them inbred European blue bloods are. And, uh, yeah, she convinced him that he had Lyme's disease. And because of this, he died. And she got his inheritance. She made sure that he died. So, I would say that U.S. government sends their officers to foreign lands, where they get poisoned. Why am I six poisoned people? For example, they did it with Navalny case because Navalny uh, allegedly is a US, U.S. agent, born at somewhere at the naval base, as his surname suggests, which is not a Russian surname. They all have these coded names. And yeah, and yeah, 
So my man died a very painful death. Before that, he had all his intellect stolen from him. And the death was slow and painful and those so-called, quote, Lyme literate doctors sucked all, out all of his money and manipulated him. And he had no medical insurance. So when U.S. government sent him to his death, they didn't bother providing him with due medical insurance. So it's my... Uh, Opinion, I think that United States should have universal free medical care for anyone, for everybody. Rich or poor, homeless or honest, high taxpayers. Because being sick is not a point where somebody should profit from. This also touches upon pharmaceutical companies, but mainly it's the medical profession that are scummy and I'm afraid when you have this high motivation for money for medical profession all kinds of scum will be attracted to attend a medical college anyways uh, these were my two cents two copics and I wanted to say that I really miss him and yeah, um, I, the US government made us uh, suffer because I basically suffered every day, every hour without him and they didn't allow him to marry me, Russian person, but anyways, you shouldn't bother about this because they will, if you want to go to the U.S. Air Force and reconnaissance, they will lay some uh, infertile, uh, wild, insidious uh, frog creature under you on purpose so that she could keep an eye on you. Honey trap! <laughs>